Indonesia 2019 jatuh kepada DKI Jakarta Tiga tahun ini saya ikut melamatkan hewan-hewan terlantar dan membantu anak-anak yang kurang mampu untuk mendapatkan akta kelahiran sebagai dokumen penting setiap warga Indonesia sehingga mereka bisa memiliki akses terhadap pendidikan di sekolah nasional. Saya percaya masyarakat yang terdidik adalah investasi ekonomi terbaik untuk membangun Indonesia. Saya Federica Kal dari DKI Jakarta 1. Dukung saya melalui Lazada, serta Instagram, SCTV, Official Putri Indonesia, dan Musika Ratu IND.
estimated 30% of all Indonesians currently do not have birth certificates, which denies them to have access to free healthcare, education, a passport, and other basic human needs. This is a Bulacan shanty located in South Jakarta, besides a busy toll road. The air hangs heavy with the stench of rotting waste, burning plastic, and car fumes. The site is a literal rubbish dump. 25% of the 10.6 million registered people in Jakarta live in shanty towns. That doesn't include those without birth certificates or official documents. The first time I came here, I was shocked to see the state these families lived in. Single room houses shared amongst families of five, poorly constructed, unable to stop the rain from leaking through at night. An average family earning receives less than 20,000 rupiah a day. And on bad days, these families aren't able to afford food. This is the living conditions of Ibu Lucy, a garbage sorter and mother of three boys. Ibu Lucy did not receive an education herself and is also illiterate. Her and her boys are a part of the estimated 30% of unregistered Indonesians with no birth certificates, meaning that they could not have access to government incentives such as healthcare and education. Despite wanting to send her boys to school, she did not have the money or requirement to. Receiving an education seemed unrealistic for them. Many of the children living in the Bulukan are working as rubbish sorters, scavenging any recyclable garbage and earning only one dollar per kilogram. Those not working on the dump are sent to the streets to beg. But things were about to change. In 2010, Sekola Bisa was founded, a school built to give the children who lived in shanties like the Bulukan an education and the opportunity to fulfill their aspirations. Jeffrey, who is now 15, is the eldest son of Ibu Lucy and one of the first students to attend Sekola Bisa. Sekola Bisa recognizes that in order to have happy, healthy children, the students' social and emotional welfare must be taken into consideration. The organization also provides routine checkups, vaccinations, and oral health care to the students. Sekola Bisa works together with the local government to provide the students with birth certificates, giving them their Indonesian citizenships and legal existence in this world. In the future, 
I hope to see Sekolah Bisa expand and reach a larger audience across Indonesia to help the many millions of children in Indonesia who need our help. Because we truly believe that education may not be a way to fix poverty, but it is a way to fight it. Jeffrey has now graduated from the school. However, Sekola Bisa continues to fund Jeffrey's education until he receives his high school diploma. Sekola Bisa was founded to give them a chance to lift themselves and their family from poverty. Yeah, so go on.